welcome to another episode of Firefighting in Canada This Week. I'm Jason Koblen, and today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. This week's top story, Quebec chiefs are concerned about a potential firefighter shortage. Then, Oshawa firefighters are demanding the city takes action on a report. And finally, take a look at a profile video of a retired volunteer firefighter who served for more than five decades. The Quebec Fire Chiefs Association told CBC News their industry may soon see a worker shortage, especially for part-time positions and in more remote regions of Quebec. The group is launching a survey to determine future staffing levels and figure out how close the industry may be from a more severe shortage. Smaller and more remote municipalities are at a greater risk because it's harder to recruit people in the regions and the stations cover larger areas. Recruitment can be challenging because even part-time firefighters require 300 hours of training and if they're trying to fulfill the requirements while working another job, they must do so during evenings and weekends. Also, people who do seasonal work and want to work as a firefighter during their off-season could compromise their EI payments. The association is working to find solutions before the situation worsens. Global News reported the Oshawa Professional Firefighters Association in Ontario is calling for action from the city after a report commissioned by the organization claimed the city's fire services need to improve in order to meet industry standards. The association wants council to fix several issues highlighted in the report, but four months after its release, firefighters say they have been stonewalled by the city. Peter Dyson, president of the association, said the response has been frustrating and they haven't heard anything officially from the city. The association says it is going to keep advocating for these changes and is willing to take legal action in order to appear before council as a delegation to discuss the matter. Shaw Spotlight recently produced a video profile of retired Sprout Lake BC volunteer firefighter Ted Blight. Blight served in almost every role within the Sprout Lake Fire Volunteer Fire Department since he first joined in 1966. He started off as a fire department's mechanic fixing its leaky fire truck. Blight received a Governor General's Exemplary Service Medal in 2016 for his work and years of service. He says in the video he didn't dream of becoming a firefighter as a child but he went to check out the department when he first moved to the area and gave it a shot. Blight's wife, Jean, said she was happy he became a firefighter because it meant he could protect the family home. Shaw Spotlight is a community access channel that strives to celebrate, engage, and connect communities with each other. Check out Firefighting in Canada's Facebook page for a link to the full video. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode on Friday, February 8th.